Welcome back to finals day here in Shenzhen. Leaning China Masters, and next up is men's singles. The World Championship silver medalist Kodai Naraoka, the number three seed, up against Kenta Nishimoto, who must win today's final if he is to qualify for the end of the year finale, the World Tour Finals in Hangzhou. Well, as far as the men's singles uh, was concerned from quarterfinal stage, six different flags next to the eight players' names makes it the most diverse of all five disciplines. But three players from Japan, and uh, that's the same at quarterfinal stage as we had last week in Kumamoto. But I believe it's the first time ever we've had three Japanese players at semi-final stage of the men's singles at a World Tour event. Well, as far as the race to the World Tour Finals are concerned, well, this is the only discipline where it's still up for grabs. There is one place remaining. And I can tell you that the top six will qualify. So will the nine, because Kunla Wudwidisan is the world champion. He gets an automatic invitation. But it will either be Kenta Nishimoto or Anas Antonsen. If Nishimoto wins today's final, he edges out the Dane, Anna's Antonsen. If he loses today's final, then of course the Dane will qualify as the eighth player at the World Tour final. So it's all desperately tight, and there's so much significance on today's men's singles final. So Kodai Naraoka, the World Championship silver medalist, the number three seed here at the China Masters. He has never won a World Tour title. And today is his fifth World Tour tournament final. Kenta Nishimoto. Well, he's won two World Tour titles. One at 750 level, which is what this is, the China Masters. And that was the Japan Open last year. It was his first ever title in his seventh final. And he won a title earlier this year too, the Spain Masters. Uh, where he beat another Japanese player, Sumiyama, in the final. Well, this is the first international meeting between these two players. And I was telling you that this is only the fourth ever all Japanese men's singles final in the history of the Super Series Grand Prix Gold and now World Tour. It never happened in the Super Series. It never happened in the Grand Prix Golds. But it did happen in the 2019 German 300 event, and it's the third time it's happened this year. So Kodai Naraoka wins the toss of the coin and has chosen ends and wants to start the near side of the court. So, it's a must-win situation for Kenta Nishimoto, a 29-year-old from Mia Prefecture on the southeast coast of Honshu. Studied law at university, so he's a very intelligent young man. Currently number 13 on the world ranking. Has been as high as nine, a total of eight weeks across three different spells at number nine in the world. 
five foot 11 tall and looking at his matches he's only once gone the full distance and that was against the reigning world champion Widdison of Thailand then beat the former All England champion Lee Si Sha and then the semi-final yesterday against the bronze medalist from the world championships last year the left-handed Zhao Zhengpeng of China so to Kodai Naraoka, the number three seed, 22 years of age from Omori in North Hongshu. He's the shorter of the two men, that equates to five foot eight. And he's a couple of places down from his career high. 16 weeks across three spells at number three in the world. Lost the World Championship final earlier this year in a match lasting just shy of an hour and 50 minutes against Widdison. Well, he went the full distance in the second round to repeat of the World Championship semi-final against Anna Zanzensen. That was an hour and 50 minutes. And then he beat the other bronze medalist from this year's World Championships, Pranoy from India. That was much more comfortable. And the semi-final beat his teammate Kanta Suniyama. Came from 11.15 down in the second game before winning it 21 Ready to play. So our umpire for this one, I can tell you, is David Graf from Schweren of Austria and Jamal Fotifa of Algeria is the service judge. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Kenta Nishimoto, Japan. And on my left, Kodai Naraoka, Japan. Kodai Naraoka to serve, double play. So the men's singles final. The number three seed, Kodai Naraoka, in the red shirt nearest to us against Kenta Nishimoto. Kodai Naraoka trying to win his first ever World Tour tournament title and if he manages to do so will become the 19th different men singles winner at a World Tour event this year. 19th different winner in the 28th event of 30 on the HSBC BWF World Tour. As far as Nishimoto is concerned, well, he's trying to become the sixth men's singles player to be a multiple winner of World Tour titles this year. Of course, the others, Victor Axelson has won five World Tour titles, Jonathan Christie three, Widdesan two, Li Shifang two, and Wing Hong Yang two. One, two. It's great diversity in men's singles in general, isn't there, Chris? Yeah, there is. A lot of different countries doing exceptionally well. No country really is dominating.
really take Victor Axelson out of the men's singles category. It is so open, I think, when Victor's in it and he's fully fit and flowing, he's, let's say, half a step above the rest. But except for that, it's, it's a very, very open event. That's wide. Service over. Three, two. Change. Yeah, sadly, we lost Victor Axelson and Jonathan Christie. Jonathan Christie was the number six seed, Axelson the number one seed, before play actually got underway here in Shenzhen. Well in. Serve it over. Three, all. Narioka is such a disciplined player. I think he can play at a slightly slower tempo, but I feel like forever and not even think about quite like the chance of making a mistake. around the head, just playing a backhand. I was doing that yesterday. Yeah, there's mutterings from the crowd. <laughs> and he gets the neck cord, Naraoka. Nishimoto here's the player trying to create, working hard, being attacking. Marioka's defense, I mean, that final shot is exceptional, but his defense is so solid. It's hard to inject pace against him as well. He manages to slow the tempo down all the time. Yes, that's, that's the thing I think that's quite astonishing is that how he draws his op opponents into this slow style of game. And I'd say it is actually a skill to have because he loves this slow game because he can play at this pace for so long and he, he you're right, he draws everyone into it. Makes his opponents play his game. bit surprised how how he's just playing a backhand so comfortably as in he's not even attempting to get round the head when it's not far off this, the middle yeah I know and I found it astonishing yesterday as well he was doing the same thing so it's over five four Landed on the line, drift Six. from right to left, oh. and that brought him back in. It's 
a difficult thing for Nishimura because he knows he doesn't want to play this slow game, but if he goes for anything too early in the rally, he'll expose himself. Narioka's defense is so solid. Four. Seven. Four. by Nishimoto. It's the one he got wrong because he then allowed his opponent to be on balance and attack at him again. Very accurate though, okay. Narioka. Amazing act from see with that backhand. Oh, he's challenging. Naroka. Well, he was right there. Just long. Ten, four. Six straight points. Narioka is being very patient and calm and waiting for his opportunity, not rushing it. Nishimoto just fractionally forcing it. Service over. Oh, that's a careless uh, service Five. error. Ten. It's the first probably unforced error Narioka's made all week. asking for the court to be mopped and the umpire said no just use your foot to scuff the perspiration away Eleven six, the advantage to Kodai Naraoka here in the opening game of the men's singles final.
20 seconds. Back to hold. Hand down. Yes, change. Eleven, six, play. Perfect placement. It's plumb on the line there. Eleven. Nishimoto. Also got to have such good patience to work the rally for his opening. He knows if he goes too early. Narioka's got such a strong defence. Oh, I thought that may have been going wide. Missed it. Lost his patience. That's the thing. Nerioka's defence is so good. Shimoto at the moment. Quality's just a tiny bit off. Not quite accurate enough to be getting through. was a statement Eight, of intent. 12. That's the thing, this is what I would like to have seen earlier from Ishimoto, because he's, Narioka's so relaxed, but almost too relaxed, taking that on the backhand. Great pace change, Nishimoto, taking a calculated risk. Nishimoto's got to believe in as well as the longer the game goes on it's got to be better for him which I wouldn't normally say but Narioka obviously had that absolute marathon with Anders Anderson earlier on an hour and 40 minute match hour and 50 on oh, hour and 50 apologies even longer himself in trouble. Just the quality isn't quite good enough to hurt Narioka. Then he's got to move the full distance of the court.
Yeah. Sudden injection of pace forward in court once again from Nishimoto. It's not easy to do, but I think it's the only way he's going to be able to find a way through. So if he plays at the slower pace, it's the pace that Narioka thrives off, and he loves, and he can handle that more controlled, slower pace, that change of pace. That's where it can, the damage can be done. Attacking too much though. He had worked the opening at Nishimoto. This is the problem when your opponent keeps getting shuttles back. You feel you've got to make your winning shots tighter and tighter. So important. And Nishimoto works the rallies. Well, work the opening first. Early in that rally, he was going for, in my opinion, slightly too much early on. Almost putting himself in trouble. That's a sign of the fatigue late put on the defensive shot, Kenta Nishimoto. Three seed Naroka. Chris, I think he's trying to force it too much at the moment, Nishimoto. I can understand why. I think Narioka forces his opponents into this situation, it's something he's so good at. Another good injection of pace. 13, 17. This is where Narioka, you know, he's, he's only 22. It's only 22 with the way he plays. Is, like a much more mature player. He's very calm, relaxed, move the shuttle around. He plays the game at his speed, at his pace. Doesn't take any risks. That's going wide. Yeah. We're well left. So it's over 18, 30.
That's an amazing backhand. 19, My 30. goodness me. I won't see better than that. Two points away from the opening game. Kodai Narooka. Game point opportunities. Seven of them for Kodai Narooka. Narooka just there showing all about the placement of the attack. Incredibly accurate. He's given a lot of time on this though, and it's a short lift. It's the thing at the moment, Nishimoto's not been quite accurate enough to penetrate Narioka's defense. Also, the quality of Narioka's lifts have been good. It's been really stretching Nishimoto. Game point opportunity. Opening game, 21-13. 26 minutes. Second game, level play. So the number three seed, Kodai Narooka, one game to the good. 21-13 the opening game against Kinta Nishimoto. Well, it was quite clear towards the end of that opening game that this man, Nishimoto, was getting a little bit frustrated. Needs to calm down, clear the minds, get back to the game plan. Much better attack there, much better placement from Nishimoto. And yeah, just agreeing with that point you made, you can see from that last rally of the first game, very frustrated. You know, frustrated at the way the game, the style was being played. It's, it's, it's annoyed him. Full credit to Narioka. Narioka's frustrating his opponent. Yeah, the crowd's appreciation for that. Great change of pace, a much more accurate attack.
service over. One, two. Shimoto read that and he was there early and it was the right shot. Steps up. Can't miss those. That's right. Attacking Two. shot from Naroka. Great placement there, and it almost I think, caught Nishimoto just fractionally by surprise. Yeah, it's a nice skill, isn't it? That brilliant net that set that all up, that net shot. That's good attack. And Nishimoto's in so much trouble because of the short lift. Yep. That stayed in with the drift. The sideways drift. especially as in that rally. Kind of got sent the wrong way, stay just up, slightly. Up. There, checked his step, and that's brilliant. Fantastic shot. thing Chris to me in yesterday's semi-final with Naraoka was that he played a very similar style of game and then in the second game against Suniyama he was 11-15 down and he was looking tired but then just managed to sort of raise his pace a little bit to close out the match in two straight games but he's he also gets tired playing his you know retrieving style of game be all an act to lure his opponent in. He never gets tired. <laughs> <laughs> but he seems, that's the thing, he seems to be able to keep going at the similar pace. He's kind of got one pace, but it feels like he can... Oh, well, he's, he's got a very fast pace. When I first saw him, I, I was telling everybody he's, he's such a fast player, but he's just not using that pace anymore. Or if he doesn't have enough left in his in his legs. 
And he's doing so well so to control over. the game at this pace. Six, four. And his quality of shot is so good, even when he's stretched. We've seen him dive, obviously, a, a number of times, and the quality he still produces on the shot is still very good. Yeah. Like that backhand there, full stretch. The quality of his block is still exceptional. Four. And this is the thing Nishimoto's attacking and getting himself in trouble. Here. Full stretch. Drifted wide so with the sideways drift. Five, seven. Attack, but he's opening himself up here. Incredible block from there. And then the flat, weaker lift, and bang. Well placed attack, right hip. Thank you. There's another little explosion of pace from Naraoka. Get to the round the head position to play another smash towards the right hip of Nishimoto. out there thinking do I need a good defense well the answer is yes because that's I mean that's unbelievable defending and he's put that in front of the front service line at full stretch pretty much in the air when he's taking it doing a Superman dive so to the mid-game interval 11, and a six-point advantage to Kodai Naraoka having already won the opening game. Well, things looking bleak for Kings and Nishimoto at the moment. And his hopes of qualifying for the World Cup finals by a thread. Eleven five play. So eleven five the advantage to Kodai Naraoka. Yeah, good smash. 
Can he play enough of those, though? That's the question. And that's the attack the Nishimoto fans have been asking for and hoping for, because that's brilliant. I see Narioka's nowhere near that. It's just the accuracy of the attack. there you see how, high, how deep that lift is as well it's literally on the back line I watched every lift that Narioka did or upward shot in that rally and every single one Nishimoto took he was pretty much on the back tram line that's how good his lifting quality has been well that equals the longest rally I think we certainly had a rally at 46 shots in the opening game That's wide. So it's over. Seven, twelve. Oh, indecision. Oh, oh. now a challenge from Nishimoto. Oh, that 
That's a super shot. Now Rolka was convinced it was going to be a clear to his deep backhand corner. Look, he's moved away. Seems to be more willing to play more attacking shots in this second game, Naroka. We hardly saw any in the opening game. Another one goes long as the back line. Service over. 11. 14. Oh. 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 So over. Yeah, you simply can't afford 15, errors like that one again. And at the time, 14 11 down. Time is running out for Naro for uh, Nishimoto. Sheer consistency of Naraoka's really shining through. Pick up. Yeah. There's Nishimoto's speed. That's so well. Narioka here puts his opponent in trouble. That's a good pick up. Calm to play that shot. Chases forward. Reads it so early. It wasn't even loose. That was just a great brush. away from his first ever World Tour title. The number three is seed, Kodai Naroka. The thing is as well with Naroka, I didn't know if nerves were going to play, play a part just because could it, such a big thing when it's your first 
you know, major title, but I don't think it's possible for Nerves really to play a part because they had such a big lead in both games that there's not a chance for him to get tense or get nervy. Yeah. Another wonderful defensive shot from Naraoka. So that rally almost sums up the second Match game. Point. On the verge of victory now. Naraoka, nine match point opportunities. Nishimoto. Well, 20. Salute. Wonderful shot to see. Nishimoto liked that one. He saluted the crowd, I think. Still championship point to Naraoka. Kodai Naroka wins his first World Tour title here at the leading China Masters. 21-13, 21-13, symmetry in the scoreline. A match lasting 52 minutes. Kodai Naraoka, 21-13, 21-13 against the unseeded Kenta Nishimoto. Steps. 
谢，非常感谢，在今天先是我们体育中心在跟我们的进行赛程，一组来到了拍看，下一组哎，这两位。其实我们希望大家都能够开心快乐，享受体育的快乐。那么现在我们再来寻找最后一组裁判，会在哪边？哎，这两位准备好？哇，太棒了啊！都看乐了，是不是？好，谢谢，给我们也是会员一波满满的幸福的啊，这个精神食粮。那么朋友们，同样在我们关注女球赛事的同时啊。二零二三深圳马拉松也会在十二月三日与启迪即将开跑，我们一起体验运动的快乐。女士们、先生们，二零二三平平中国羽毛球大师赛汇丰世界羽联世界巡回赛超级七十五零赛男子单打颁奖仪式现在开始。有请获奖运动员入场。So the players are brought forward for the prize presentation of the men's singles. Well, it was an eighth World Tour tournament final for Kenta Nishimoto. But it is a milestone for Kodai Naraoka, his first ever World Tour title while contesting his fifth World Tour tournament final. So disappointments for Nishimoto So it means he loses out on the World Tour Finals And as Antonsen for Denmark The last qualifier for those World Tour Finals to take place in over two weeks time in Hangzhou 80,500 
across social media before you can blink. So just one more final to come, and for the first time this year in the men's doubles final, we have the number one against the number two seeds. It's Ranky Reddy and Shetty, the Asian Games gold medalists, up against the current world number ones, Liang Wei Ken and Wang Chang.